Namaskar, Sadhguru. It's been really amazing watching your road trip on social media. We're learning a lot about spiritual America. Thank you for sharing. In my experience, traveling has really helped me broaden my horizon. So my question is, can traveling really also help people in their spiritual growth? Thank you so much. Namaskaram, Debonita. Well, uh, can travel be of some significance in one's uh, spiritual growth? Well, it depends uh, what travel means uh, in someone's life. If uh, for people travel is uh, from airport to airport, hotel room to hotel room, I don't know to what extent it will be of any significance. But now if you travel like me, <laughs> rough <laughs> a little bit. Uh, when travel takes away the comfort of your home, when travel takes away the order of things that you're used to, when travel takes away the simple and complex pleasures that you've built around yourself. When travel takes away a sense of too much concern that you have about your own well-being and brings a certain amount of dispassion about yourself, if you travel like that, well, definitely it will be of some significance in terms of one's spiritual growth, because constantly being in settled atmospheres, constantly being within four walls and uh, within known atmospheres, developing very freaky sense of how everything should be, if that is broken, will it be of some some assistance for one's spiritual growth, definitely it is. So, Devanita, you must encourage people to travel little rough, little adventure travel. Not in search of comfort, but in search of exposure, in search of new experiences. Above all, travel should bring a certain sense of dispassion about oneself passion for everything, but this passion about this one, this is spiritual process. So in that sense, yes, so please encourage people to travel, let them get off their comfort zones, let them move into new areas of the world and their experiences. Let all those things that they have taken for granted be broken for some time at least, which will definitely be an assistance for one's spiritual growth, because spirituality means just this, that constantly you are in new terrain. That means you are on a journey. If you are on a journey, every step should be new terrain. Only if you are stagnant can you be in the same terrain always. So travel essentially means this, that you want to be in new terrain, you want to confront faith, unfamiliar situations. Don't travel in search of comfort zones. Travel in terms of seeking new terrain, breaking the comfort zone. That's what travel is about in many ways. So if you do that, definitely it's of spiritual value. Of